Hey guys, do you want to make $100,000 a month in passive income? Let me tell you just right now, it's not going to happen. Hey guys, this is Philip Watley with Life Without Boundaries. Today we're going to talk about passive income and how it's not quite what everybody's making it up to be. Now, all these YouTube stars I've been seeing all over my, my uh, notification feed of all these gurus saying passive income, how I make four uh, streams of passive income and passive income and passive income and passive income. But let me tell you, though it may be real and though it may be true, they are not giving you the full story. But first, if you're new to this channel and you want to learn how to make money online and learn about building an online business, go ahead and click, click the subscribe button and click the bell notification because we release videos five times a week. Now I can tell you where all this hype is coming from, from the whole passive income craze on YouTube. It's all over the place. If you just search passive income, you're going to come up with hundreds of videos. Hopefully mine will be up there somewhere, but it probably won't, about ways to make passive income. Now. Everybody likes this idea that you can just sit back and collect a check and not really have to do much work. But guys, the truth about passive income is that it takes so much upfront work and resources and investment without any return that 99% of people that try and do it fail and they fail miserably. So if you've got like a, an online business and network marketing or affiliate marketing and all this stuff and you're trying to make this work, 99% of the time, 99% of you suck and they're going to fail. It's, it's statistically proven that people don't stick it out. Why? Because we are creatures of needing things quickly. We, we, we want it now. We want it all. And when you are putting a lot of effort into something and you're just and you're spending hours upon hours a day setting things up and, and marketing and advertising and building your sites and then nothing is showing for it and you're not getting paid and you're putting money into tools and to ads and you're just investing, investing, investing and nothing is returning. That's a problem. And people just say, well, this ain't going to work after a few months, and then they quit. That is the mentality when it comes to this type of business model. And they never will achieve passive income. What you need to understand is, is the upfront work takes lots of time, sometimes years to set up, to even see any of the rewards at all. There are people that set, tried to set up the business, took them over a year to only make $1,000. And then after a second year, then they made 10,000. And in the third year, they're pulling in six figures, almost seven figures a year. That's because they put the time and the money into making the business. Now, a lot of people, they will quit cold turkey and put 100% into this and building their business online and building their brand, and they fail because they run out of money and they're just done. Like, you have to have some kind of budget or some kind of uh, secondary income source or even a main income source to help fund this business to get it off the ground. Uh, if you look at all of these other, uh, these really successful passive income gurus, they had a full-time job or even still have a full-time job on, that's kind of funding their business or helped fund their business. And sometimes they just poured on, pretty much everything they had into it at times. And it took them a long time to get there. You have to be consistent and you have to be determined. If you don't have the mindset to push through whenever you, you just see those bad results and you hear the bad uh, commentary and the bad criticism from people saying, just quit, you're not gonna, you're not making any money, you're not doing, like people break under that pressure. They, they, they crack and they break. And it just doesn't work. Their business doesn't work. Um, even right now, like my business that I'm trying to start online a few weeks ago, I told you all about it, uh, my SEO business. It's going to take a while to set up. I'm going to have to build clients slowly, put in a lot of work, and to get this uh, system in place. And people that I'm talking to are, are skeptical. They're just like, there's no way you're going to be making $100,000 a year doing this. It's like, especially not within the next few years. It's like, it's not going to happen. 
and you, you just have to push through it. You have to believe in what you are learning. You have to believe that you can do it. And you have to tell yourself that you're not going to stop until you make it happen. Even if it takes four, five, six years to even see anything, you have to keep going. The thing is, is people waste four, five, six years of their life in college learning about stuff when you could be getting your feet off the ground and, you know, learning from your mistakes and learning from your failures and, and making things of yourself. Now, I landed my first client the first week I started my online business. So I'm already on, on the road. My client's probably going to pay me about $500 a month, and that's one client. And I'm just going to keep building from here. And hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have hit my $10,000 mark in my, in my YouTube challenge. But like I said, this is going to take time. You know, I may not even hit that goal. That's just a goal that I have that I'm putting my mind to and that I'm going to try and hit. And I'm hoping you guys are going to stay here and stick around and, and see the progress that I'm making because I'm going to be giving you updates along with all of these uh, tips and tricks. But you, just, you have to stay with it. You have to. Because if you don't, you're just going to be another statistic. You're just, you're just going to end up quitting and you're just going to look like everybody else. You're not going to prove anybody wrong. You're not going to prove the naysayers wrong. You have to let the haters be the motivators. Like I, It's a phrase people hear all the time. You have to push through, and you have to build perseverance. You, trials and tribulations build perseverance, and you have to fight through that. Now, on to these passive income sources. One of the main ones I see on all of these channels and all of these blogs is affiliate marketing. Now, I talk about affiliate marketing a little bit in my channel. I do a little bit of it myself. But obviously right now, I don't have enough people know that I exist in my channel to be successful at it. And so people see all these uh, gurus talking about how much money they're making. They're flashing their, their paychecks and their deposits. See, I made $400,000 this past month with affiliate marketing. And they convince people to opt into these programs and these products and things and they're dropping thousands and thousands of dollars and they're not ready they're not ready to do this they don't have any knowledge they just see the money and they're like oh i want to do this and they jump in and they spend the money and then they're just like i'm not ready to commit to this work this this amount of upfront work that it cost uh, that it takes and this upfront investment cost that it takes um because they weren't told that that's what's going to happen. They're just saying, hey, you can do this. Let's do it right now. And after they opt in, oh, you got to buy these tools. And you need all this stuff. And then before you know it, you're paying $200 a month on like things like click funnels and autoresponders and things like that. And people just aren't ready for that. They're not ready. Now, if you have an income source that can help budget that, I would suggest trying to get started. But, it, but know that it's going to take time years even years but if someone can go to school for four years not making a dime getting negative in their debt you can spend four years building a business that can set you financially free and ha make you have that life without boundaries that we talk about here in this channel so the mindset is so important guys you have to train your brain to fight the negativity and the self-doubt about everything that you're going to experience than trying to build an online business. Because people are going to tell you you can't, statistics are going to tell you you can't, and family's going to tell you you can't, but you have to fight through it. And then you might be thinking to yourself, well, maybe you're just telling me to fight through it so I can just keep spending more money. Like, I'm not gaining anything from you doing a business. Like, that's, that's up to you. I'm just telling you from my personal experience, so far I've, I've spent a couple hundred dollars just investing in my business. And, you know, like I said, I've got my first client. After my first client paycheck comes in, that'll take care of those costs. And then I'll invest in some more tools and some more things. And you have to improve yourself. You have to invest in yourself, not only in your business, but obviously you need to learn more on how to make your business grow and how to be successful. So investing in more programs, not even taking that money that I made from my first client and like spending it, but investing it back into my business, investing it back into my knowledge and in my, in my education so that I can be better, so I can land that second, third, 10th, 20th client and start making that, that passive income that I, I want 
and that I dream of having. So my goal is set right now at five clients. And once I hit five clients, then 10 clients. Because if, if you set your goal too high, guys, like if you set, I'm, I want to make a million dollars my first year. I've seen some YouTube challenge people doing that, trying to hit a, a million. You know, mine's at 10,000. Some people think that's high. But it's it's really not. It's not even a full-time job worth of money in a year. So I'm, I'm setting the bar pretty low for me. But that's not my goal. Like that's that's a quest I guess in like the stepping stone. Like you hit ten thousand, then the next goal is gonna be fifty thousand that year, and then you know a hundred thousand the next year, and then five hundred thousand, and then a million. And that's that's the goals that you need to set for yourself. You can't set that impossible goal because you'll never you'll never feel like you're getting closer to it. You'll never feel like you're making any progress. And if you set small sequential goals to yourself, you can really uh, pretty much expedite your your success rate because every little goal is within reach of what you're doing. And so that's another really good way, I mean that is a good way to stay motivated and to stay on task with your business because you're going to get burnt out if your goals are way too high. So if you're one of the people that wants to try and fight the statistic and make this thing happen in your life and you're, and you're ready to do that. Uh, I've got a few videos about affiliate marketing right there. That's just one of the ways that you can make passive income. It kind of teaches you the basics and the things that you need to get started. Uh, like I said, time investment and money investment. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.